Coming up today, the theater department gets spooky. McKinney scares away hunger. And speech and debate is on the lookout. All this and more starting right now on NTV. Good morning, McKinney North High School. I'm Sarah Taylor. And I'm Ashley Jones. And welcome to the Halloween edition of NTV. Every year, the McKinney North Theater Department puts on a haunted house. James Robinson has a story on this year's events. The McKinney North High School themed haunted house has been created by students with little to no teacher assistance. Basically, the majority of the haunted house is run by students. Uh, they're all the actors, they're the technicians. There are students who build it, we have students who are in it. The only thing, the only role that the teachers really have in the haunted house is making sure that everybody is safe and nobody is doing anything they are not supposed to be doing. Besides acting, the haunted house holds many complex roles. General role is makeup artist and costume manager, but I usually do special effects makeup. In the haunted house I am the roaming tech. If anything breaks, for example tarp falls down or we have a malfunction, it is our jobs to fix it. Compared to other theater productions, the haunted house takes place in a much shorter time period. We start in the beginning of October and we work days and days and days constantly because it's a huge production. We take the entire fine arts hall just to put this thing all together. For the event itself, it takes about five to seven hours. Along with performing in the Honda House, the International Thespian Society board members are adding a new and improved fall festival within the event. In the fall festival, we'll have like a lot of booths set up, a lot of people, kind of like a, a bazaar, basically outside, or like kind of trade days. A lot of people will be setting up booths, we'll sell candy, people will be selling maybe scarves or Halloween decorations, you never know. Actors and technicians alike explain their personal benefits from working in the Haunted House. The Haunted House for me is one of the most fun productions that we put together because it's just really enjoyable to put together something and then to see people's reactions to it. I love just being able to do makeup designs that I don't get to do on a daily basis and meet different people that I don't get to see every day. I've just been in the Haunted House every year because it's a great way to show how much I love McKinney North. It's really fun. It's just a great time. If you would like to check out the Haunted House, it's tonight and tomorrow, starting at 6 p.m. This has been James Robinson with NTV. Make sure to stop by the Fall Festival at McKinney North going on today and tomorrow. Every year, McKinney comes together to raise awareness and help fill the food pantry. Sarah Taylor has a story on how McKinney is scaring away hunger. Executive Director Jim Smith of the McKinney nonprofit 3E McKinney says that the organization's purpose is to meet a need that many aren't even aware of. People are hungry, uh, so they're, they're food insecure. They have today, but they don't have tomorrow. Uh, and those are the kind of people that we, we want to serve and serve in a way that honors them and lifts them up. In addition to serving the community year-round. 3E McKinney and their partnering churches come together for a special project during the holiday season. Scareway Hunger is a program we developed a couple of years ago at the Halloween time obviously with the Scareway Hunger theme and it's kind of like trick-or-treat in reverse. We partner with some of our churches they will send their uh, their kids out through their own neighborhood or their families out through their own neighborhood with an empty bag and say, we'll be back on Halloween to collect this. And they're collecting a bag of canned goods and bringing it back to the church, which ultimately winds up back here uh, at the community food pantry here in McKinney. Smith says that projects like Scare Away Hunger are among the easiest to get involved in. Uh, they can drop them off here at the, uh, at the community food pantry. They can drop it off uh, at any church in McKinney. Uh, people, McKinney is a generous community. People love to, uh, love to get involved, and this is an easy way that you can get involved. On behalf of 3E McKinney, Smith says that he is aware of the effects of hunger and hopes to end as much of it as possible. Well, hunger will never go away. Uh, we, uh, we know that. 
that. Uh, there will always be hunger uh, somewhere in the world. Uh, and our, our, our goal this year, like I say, is to, uh, is to fill this room up with, uh, with canned fruits and vegetables to, uh, to help carry people through the holidays and even into the spring uh, and, and wherever we can to just, just work together to, uh, to address the hunger issue here in McKinney. If you'd like to donate canned goods this year, you can drop them off at the McKinney Food Pantry, Covenant Church, St. Gabriel's, or any other McKinney church. For more information, visit 3emckinney.com. This has been Sarah Taylor for NTV. Despite much success in previous years, the McKinney North speech and debate team is struggling to find new members. Macy Lemons has a story on the team's journey to finding new recruits. Speech and debate coach Angie Burns explains the raw purpose for the speech and debate team. Speech and debate is a organization that allows students the opportunity to compete on a um, high level with interp events and debate events and speaking events. Veteran speech and debate student Jalen Wallace and freshman Ash Burns explain how the team has benefited them. Speech and debate is basically, it's a, it's a big family. We, uh, we work and we also have fun with each other. Um, a lot of people uh, don't understand that we we don't just work and it's not just a club. We actually go to competitions and we win. Wallace further explains what members who will join gain from the speech and debate team. It's been pretty fun getting to know a lot of like older people and letting them take me under their wing and show me like what high school is and what speech and debate is. I love seeing the kids succeed at something they've worked really hard at. Something that they're passionate about, something that they have put their heart and soul into, and when they do well with it and they see the rewards to all of their hard work, it's rewarding for me as well. Miss Burns explains that the issue with the class's recognition is not due to the class itself, but its publicity. I think a lot of kids at McKinney North don't know about it because it hasn't been a highly publicized um, activity here on campus so far, which we're trying to change and we're trying to get more people involved. So we're welcome to having kids come and just kind of see what we do. I want the students of McKinney North to know that if you join uh, the debate team, it is work, but we also do have fun. And it's a really big commitment and you have to be really committed uh, to the program to succeed and um, everybody in the program right now we're all we're all good and uh, we're all committed and that's why we continue to win. Miss Burns hopes that speech and debate will expand and wants to encourage all students to stop by speech and debate in room E112 or visit their website at mnhsspeechanddebate.weebly.com. This has been Macy Lemons for NTV. With Halloween around the corner, spookiness is in the air. So we asked some McKinney North students what scares them the most. Spiders. Clowns. Snakes. The heights. I'm failure. Small places because I'm claustrophobic. I'm afraid of geckos. My mom. Something that scares me is seeing my AP Physics grade. <laughs> um, something that scares me would probably be like snakes. Bugs, critters, insects. Bye. Tigers. Nothing really scares me. That's all we have for you today. For more news and sports information, follow us on Twitter at MNHSNTV. Thanks for watching. And have a great Halloween weekend, Bulldogs.